Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while since I picked up the camera. We got back from the uh, Disney trip a little over a week ago. Actually, almost exactly a week ago. It was last Sunday. And now it is the following Monday. It's the day after Easter. Grace and I are just hanging out in the living room. <gasps> what do you have? You want me to put the clips in your hair? Do you want to wait until you get dressed or do you want to do it just for fun right now? Yeah. Right now? Okay. Can I see them? Grace got uh, these little Disney princess hair clips in her Easter nest. Oh, no. And you want to wear it? Okay. Do you want Tiana, Belle, or the flowers? Yeah. Belle, yeah. right here. You just have the cutest bed head in the world. Do you know that? Wow, there you go. You want Tiana too on that side? Okay, can you turn around so I can see that side? Oh, Gracie, it's beautiful. Wow. You want the flower one too? Where should this one go? Here. On that side too? Okay, turn around. There you go. Do you wanna go look in the mirror? Yeah. Okay. So Grace woke up at seven today and then her nanny is coming at eight and on Mondays I work half day from eight to one. So I'll get some stuff done. And, oh, your potato head. This was another Easter gift from yesterday that she is just all about. Yeah. Oh, you want potato to wear the cowboy hat? Okay. All right, Grace is with Hannah, her nanny. I am gonna do like a, a quick little 10 minute get ready here. Quick body shower, wash my face, refresh my hair. I just washed it yesterday, so. Although it looks rough right now, and it actually shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad to touch up. Um, and then I'll head upstairs and just try to be as productive as possible for the next four hours. Four hours, five hours? Well, that feels so much better, so much better. I'm gonna do some skincare, put on a little bit of makeup, and uh, we, we can have a little chat while I finish getting ready here. Something I feel like I have been really in my head about lately and like consciously trying to like stop that train of thinking is feeling like my vlogs have to have like a perfect flow to it. Like like this morning when I started the vlog and then Grace and I got distracted and I didn't pick it up again until we were in here. I like get in my head of like, oh, is that, is that like boring? Should I just restart the vlog? I didn't really get anywhere in that first clip and I just overthink it. And the reality is it's not that deep. <laughs> like I'm literally just filming myself talking to a camera throughout my life, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep. But I like get in my head that like, oh wait, it's not gonna be entertaining enough. But the reality is you are watching this on the internet. The internet, which has an infinite amount of things that you could watch, things that are way more exciting than me, rambling and, and doing my makeup and helping Grace play with her Mr. Potato Head. You're probably not here because I'm the most interesting person in the world. I don't have to show the most exciting things. Like it doesn't have to be the coolest vlog in the world. If you wanted to watch that, you could go watch someone skydive. That's way cooler. But for whatever reason, you were here choosing to watch this. And I feel like when I get in my head about that, it honestly makes the vlogs worse because it tr I try to make it too polished and it doesn't feel as authentic. It doesn't feel as real to me. So I've been trying to do better about not overthinking it and also like not trying to word everything perfectly. I, I get in my head sometimes when I'm like, doing the more rambly bits like this of like, I should have worded that better, but like it's it's a vlog. It does, it does not have to be perfect. So yeah, I've been trying to do better about that. Trying to do better about like, just letting myself be imperfect, stumble over my words, not finish every thought because sometimes I end up playing with Grace's Mr. Potato Head and then I just, life goes on. I'll pick up the camera later. It's not that deep. I feel like I, I kind of, uh, tackled the the personality aspect of that a couple years ago where I used to feel like I had to, you know, filter certain parts of my personality or tone myself down to be more palatable because I was afraid that people would think I was annoying or people wouldn't like me. And the reality is I am kind of annoying and not everyone is going to like me and that's okay. <laughs> and breaking through that was like a huge personal victory. And now I feel like I'm kind of trying to do that on the more technical side of the vlogs. Honestly though, looking back and realizing the personal growth I've made in not feeling like I need to change myself to be more palatable and just letting myself be the cringy loser that I am and not caring <laughs> was like such a huge personal victory. Like thinking back to how much I used to overthink that aspect a couple years ago. I'm like, girl, that is exhausting. I'm, I'm so glad that I don't think like that anymore. 
Where's my lip gloss? I think like all three of my lip glosses are upstairs at my desk because I keep bringing them up there so I can like touch it up later and then not bringing them back down. So I'll have to finish that upstairs. But uh, moral of the rambly get ready chat. If you want to create content, don't overthink it. It's not that deep. And uh, both online and off, let yourself be a cringy loser because it's way more fun. <laughs> all right, let's go work. And there we go. Okay, on the agenda for today. I'll do a fun little to-do list graphic here. Um, edit and upload the Easter Get Ready With Me short form that I filmed yesterday. So I'm gonna post that on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Review and send notes on 20 whatever episode 35. Start the vlog. Oh, hey, there we go. Check. Uh, review the final drafts of the What I Wore to Disney short form from Rachel. Follow up on a podcast sponsor to get the talking points from them and approval on the the suggested timeline that I send of like when it will be ready for review, when we need their notes, when it's gonna go live. Do, 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 do. Record voiceover and edit the gardening short form that I filmed last week. And the most exciting thing, review the third draft of the color analysis video for my main channel. See how I kind of stumbled over analysis? I, I get the tendency, I get the urge to just Resay the sentence, it's not that deep. So I'm gonna review that. Um, I don't anticipate having any notes because I've already done two rounds of notes. I feel really confident about this third version. So in all likelihood, this will be like essentially the final draft. It, it, this video is sponsored, not this video, like this vlog, like the, the color analysis main channel video is sponsored by ThreadUp. We all bought clothes from ThreadUp in our color palette, which is really fun. So as long as this draft is perfect, I'm gonna send that off to the brand for their review. So exciting. I am, I am so proud of this color analysis video. It is so good. I feel like the, the concept was really good. The footage is beautifully shot. We worked with Ruben, again, who, if you've been watching the vlogs and the main channel for a long time, you might remember Ruben. He used to film all of my like high quality, you know, the, like the, the swooping steady cam B-roll footage videos back in the olden days. Um, and I hadn't worked with him since before the pandemic. And we worked together again on this project and he is just so phenomenally talented. I think it really brought the video to the next level. And it was just a really cool process, a really cool experience. And I think the way it all came together in the final edit was really good. From the, the first two drafts I, I've seen, it's just, Amazing. And the third draft should only get better. So I'm excited. Okay. But that is the end of the day. Rachel's making those uh, notes to the final version now. So she'll probably be sending that to me at like noon or one, I think. But all right, let's knock out this to-do list. sit stand desk from Costco like four or five years ago. And honestly, I think to this day, it still has to be like one of my best quality of life purchases ever. It's just the best. I get tired of sitting, I stand. I get tired of standing, I sit. It's got four modes you can pre-program for like the different heights. And then you can also just adjust as you please. I love it. Anyways, work is going really really well. I feel like I was just on my productivity game this morning. I was working through the to-do list, but also not like rushing where my to-do list is overflowing and I feel like I have to just panic and go as fast as I can to try to get everything done. It was just really good. Um, the only thing I didn't finish is uh, the notes for 20 whatever. I'm gonna finish that probably tonight when I go to the gym. I'll just listen back to it through my workout. And then um, the garden short form. I was working on cutting that up right now and it's one o'clock. Hannah is about to head out, but Grace is napping. So I'll just keep working until Grace wakes up from her nap. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to finish it before she wakes up. Maybe I'll finish it tonight. But yeah, going well. Hair is almost dry. Needs a bit of a fluff after being compressed by the headphones for a little bit. But oh, also let, let me take this second. I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. I'm in my favorite shorts from Abercrombie. I'll link these in the description. I actually got these last year when I did that video where I like went on the hunt to find the perfect denim shorts. And these were one of the top two pairs in the video. They're definitely like my favorite go-to ever since. They're the Abercrombie Curve Love 
dad short, I think. Perfect length for no chafing. They're nice and loose in the leg. It is a little bit loose in my waist still, but I don't really mind it. When I'm out and about, I feel like I do this a lot, but at my desk, having that extra room while I'm sitting is honestly just nice for comfort. But since I wear them so much, I've thought about getting them tailored and getting the waist taken in. As is though, they're still just amazing. Then I've got this little gingham button up from Aerie that I just tied up. And underneath I'm wearing a bralette from Harper Wilde. That is the fit. Very simple, but feels feels cute, feels summery. I'm so, I'm so excited to enter my summer era this year. I just, I'm so ready. The weather's starting to warm up. Beach, farmer's markets, barbecues, all the things. I'm I am so ready. And this feels like a summer outfit to me. Actually totally forgot the, the other thing I didn't do yet on my to-do list is uh, reviewing the color analysis video since Rachel hadn't finished it yet, but it just hit my inbox. So I am pausing my other work. I'm gonna watch that back and uh, probably send it off to the sponsor for review. Hopefully before Grace wakes up. This is so exciting. Here it is the color analysis video, except you can't hear anything because I'm wearing headphones, but isn't it pretty? Okay, 30 minutes later and the video is sponsor ready. So I'm gonna upload it to YouTube unlisted so that I can just send that link to the brand for them to review, um, but it's not like public yet. I'm just thrilled. I'm so stoked. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I'm excited to spend the afternoon with Grace now. I am I feel like I, I got a lot done. I'm at a really great pause point for work. I imagine she'll be waking up any second here. She's been napping for like an hour and 20 minutes. And lately her naps have been like anywhere between 45 minutes and like two hours. So we're like right in the middle of, of that spectrum here. She's awake. Hello, sweet girl. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, my cutie girl. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> you want a what? Oh, open Easter eggs. I couldn't figure out what Grace was saying. She was saying open eggs because yesterday was Easter and she was just all about the egg hunt. She was so into it. Um, so I told her we can play egg hunt. We can hide the eggs again, but there's not gonna be anything in them, right? Yeah, that's just for Easter. Okay, you gotta close your eyes. Very good. Hey. Oh, hey, I gotta hide them first. Keep them closed. Another blue egg. Mm, are there any more eggs? Oh, I see one more. One more egg. This one's hidden. It's next to something that goes beep, beep. You found it. Nicely done. You want to do it again? Okay. This is like the easiest toddler activity ever. I think we're gonna do egg hunts all year round. <laughs> we just get to hang out outside, enjoy the weather. It is a gorgeous day. Bring in the seedlings outside so they can soak in some of the sunshine too. Beautiful. She's uh, she's doing another egg hunt right now. Um, and I was thinking, I was like, oh my gosh, we should go to the Legoland water park because it just opened for like the spring summer season. I think last week. <gasps> Did you get all the eggs? Okay, I'm gonna hide them again, ready? Good find. Oh, my heart. Um, but yeah, I was thinking, oh, we should go to the Legoland water park because like, it's actually pretty hot today. It's like, I think it's like 82. Warmest weather we've had all year, for sure. Oh, I just checked, it's only 72, but it feels warm. Um, but it's already three o'clock and I have therapy tonight at 5.30. So I feel like it'd be kind of tight, but tomorrow, Tuesday. Ooh, I see some eggs left on the bushes. Can you look on the bushes? Um, but I was thinking we could go to the water park in the afternoon tomorrow. So we went inside for a little bit and we're playing in the nursery, reading some books. She wanted to come back out here and uh, play the egg hunt again. And I went to start my timer again for tracking our outdoor time. If you didn't know, we're doing the thousand hours outdoor challenge. So I just track the, the time that we've spent outdoors since January 1st. So I just realized um, we just hit 300 hours. We hit a new milestone. So exciting. Um, when we hit 100 and 200, I, I just took a picture, whatever we were doing and put text on it to like commemorate the milestone. So we can do that again right now. I'm gonna use the bubble juice as a little makeshift tripod for my phone and set self timer. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture real quick. You wanna say cheese? <laughs> okay, now would you like me to hide the eggs? You're looking where I'm hiding them. You gotta close your eyes. Yeah, there you go. No, you gotta close your eyes. You saw me put that there. She 
she ran into the picture smiling, but it didn't quite get it. It is a live photo though, so I wonder. <gasps> Oh, yay! Oh, live photos are just the best, especially with kids. Look at that. Oh, so exciting. Did you know that, Grace? We spent 300 hours outside so far this year. That is so exciting. I just, I've been loving this challenge. I feel like it's been so good for me. It's been so good for Grace. We're just having a ton of fun with it. Easily like the best New Year's resolution I've ever made. And we're on track to, to hit a thousand, like a little bit before the end of the year at this point. There's Nemo. Yeah, like your figurine. Um, and now we're hanging on the couch. We're having some screen time. She wanted to come sit and watch something. And uh, then she pointed to her Nemo and Dory figurines that she got in her Easter nest. So we're gonna try watching Finding Nemo. Um, she's never seen it. She usually will sit through just like 10 or 15 minutes of a movie before she gets bored. So we'll see how this goes. As predicted, she got bored. And now we are listening to Elmo music. Good dancing. Knees and toes, knees and toes and E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm. All right, it is five o'clock, Stephen's home, and he picked up Sweet Green for dinner, our favorite salad place, which I am very excited about. So I'm gonna eat this deliciousness. Then I've got my therapy appointment. After that, I am going to the gym. So Steven's gonna do Grace's bath and bedtime tonight. Right now they are uh, dancing and playing to Little Mermaid. She, she was having a little bit of a hard time the past 20 minutes, but then Steven came home, she just lit up. And now more Easter egg hunts with daddy. <laughs> we just did an Easter egg hunt for Cece. Yes, they hid them, I found them. And it went not so well. <laughs> Grace hid them, went back inside, waited for her seer to come out, and then she just went and found all the eggs. <laughs> you, you kind of got it, but, you know, we're getting there. Oh, what? Dad. You want me to look for the eggs? Did you hide them really well? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm, where could... Oh, they're over here? <laughs> Whoa, look, they're all right here. He found them. Yes, 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 yes. Now there's a question. Are we ruining the magic of the Easter Bunny with this? <laughs> See, I thought, I think so if we fill them. I think if they're empty, it's just a scavenger hunt. And you say that as if we haven't been reading our Christmas book every night and it's <laughs> April. <laughs> We're just gonna confuse her. She's gonna grow up being like, it's every night's Christmas. And, and every, every day, day is Easter. Easter. <laughs> All right, done with therapy. And now off for a workout. Crocs going in for shower shoes. So I'm gonna shower there after and we are ready. JK, not yet. Um, I can't find my keys. And I like vaguely remember Grace putting them in the canvas bag with the Easter eggs. So now it comes for the real Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Looking for my keys that my toddler took. I'm not finding them outside, but I just remembered I have an air tag on them. So I should be able to make them beep. Play sound. Okay, not outside. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Brizzy, you can't be outside by yourself, Miss Girl. There's coyotes. Good girl. I'm walking like all over the house. So I can hear it like so faintly. But Steven's giving Grace a bath upstairs so the pipes are running so it's kind of loud. All right, playing sound for the fifth time. I'm this close to giving up, getting the spare out of the safe and just finding it later. I found it. You wanna know where it was? Right here, under Elmo, under the Star Wars blanket, on the couch. So now I have to leave you, but I will be back to cuddle you and watch Love is Blind later. Again, I'm like, this is pointless. I should probably cut it from the vlog, but everything is pointless. I, it does, it's not that deep, it's a freaking vlog. So I'll, I'll keep the frantic key search in. Growth. All right, back home, it is nine o'clock. I'm gonna try and do like 45 minutes of work here. And then Steven and I are gonna watch the new episode of Survivor from last week, cause we didn't watch it yet. Actually, Steven is two episodes behind. So he's doing his laundry over there right now. He's And he's watching uh, the, the previous episode. So if you hear something in the background, that is what that is. Um, but yeah, my my workout was like not, it wasn't the best. I just wasn't into it. Like I, I did all the things, but I just felt like I wasn't connected to my body like i was doing the movements but my mind was just so disconnected so when i finished i didn't have that like ah endorphins accomplished feeling i just kind of felt like well that's it uh, i don't know maybe it wasn't the best idea to uh try to do my workout immediately after therapy i don't usually plan anything important for therapy days i also usually don't vlog on therapy days just because i feel like it's it is 
exhausting it's work i feel kind of drained after even when it's a really good session but i was like oh today it's like at the end of the day so it'll be fine i'm in the mood to vlog working out after sounds good but i don't know my brain just wasn't i wasn't in it but it's okay i still did it i still moved my body even if i didn't have that like satisfied feeling after. So I'm gonna try and uh, get these last few work things done and then cuddle up on the couch and watch Survivor. I also have one more episode of Love is Blind to catch up on before the live finale. So if I'm still feeling like I just want to kind of veg out on the couch after Survivor, um, I may stay up a little bit later and do that. If you've been watching either Love is Blind or Survivor, let me know your thoughts down below. Love is Blind, I am obsessed with Tiffany and Brett. If they, if they don't make it, I don't know. I don't know if anyone will because they are just both of them like their relationship seems so good and like both of them as individuals I'm like, I don't know who's luckier. I think you guys are both just great And I feel like with reality tv, it's kind of rare survivor I i'm still kind of feeling out still early also because we missed last week It's been like two weeks since I watched it So I feel like it's not as fresh in my brain, but you know what i'll do after I watch this episode because i'm gonna end the vlog here So I can upload the footage to my computer and not come back up to my desk later but what I'll do is I will I will leave a pinned comment with uh, my thoughts on the most recent episode if anyone is interested and leave your thoughts down below. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.